Today is a media day. Y'all gonna be following me around today, so hope y'all enjoy. If you live in Atlanta, pray for the traffic. Y'all need help. They see my drips, something like condiments. I tell them it's compliments to the king. Got my confidant and my confidence. Look at the bitch she bring. Calling me cocky, not just confidence. It's compliments to the king. We about wrapped up with today, y'all. I love y'all. Thank you. <laughs> like yo, I really been through some stuff, and God got me out of that. Yeah. Y'all gonna get this work. <laughs> That's what we doing. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So just finished my makeup by the legend, greatest only on time, the, the greatest all time, the only person who know what they doing in this world. Tell your at name. Makeup by Delisa. All right, so I'm finna get dressed, so y'all gonna see the fit in a little bit. And then we headed to the first interview spot, which I forgot what it is. I think it's Trash Mag or something. So y'all pray for me. I'll see y'all soon. Okay. Flesh right now. Leave a demon depressed right now. I'm feeling blessed right now. Fresh right now. Ask me when. So we're on our way to the first promo stop. Still got my hair wrapped, because if not, it's gonna be in my face. Makeup is done. Sis did a great job. But going to the promo stop. See y'all in a minute. ATL, we out here. Let's go. Better not, you better not run, calling your life, don't set with the sun, but it rests in the sun. Just be chill. Uh, one day I want to grow up and have swag. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm going to be doing voiceovers throughout this vlog to add context. You're about to see me about to get kicked out as soon as I get in here because I got that joy in me, you know, that Holy Spirit joy, that fruit of the Spirit joy. I got a little too excited. I'm at IG. I made it. Sorry, get kicked out. I just got here. Okay, YouTube fam, cookout fam, kingdom fam. Hey, y'all, text the number on the bottom of the screen. That's really my number and my only number. So lock me in. Don't text no other number. Hello, my defender, my vindicator, so they know not to play with a hunt. Where I've been stepping, compare me to James Brown, because they know I ain't faking the fuss. I get back on your job. All right, so I don't have as much headroom as I thought, huh? Yeah. Nah, nah. I, it's just mental note. This ain't make believe. This ain't no movie. It's that real life. This my Uzi taking out demons. Let's get groovy. Praising my Jesus. Let's get groovy. All right, y'all. So I'm excited about this because I'm actually getting an opportunity to expose people to Christian hip hop for the first time. Okay. As you guys know, if you're not tapped in on socials and stuff, yep. mainstream media will have you to believe Christian rap doesn't even exist. So God trusting me to plant these type of seeds are, I'm like beyond grateful for it, y'all. So hopefully somebody sees this and then it leads to them giving their life to Christ and my music is gonna be a supplement to their walk with Christ. So I'm excited. Y'all, we just finished doing a performance video for Trash Mag. So I'm just blessed to be here, share the word of God, do music. It's lit. On to the next one, y'all meet me there. Let's go. Okay, fam, so we're going to our next stop. Um, it's basically like a media day, but I'm doing secular platforms and Christian platforms. I never mind going on any platform as long as I'm getting the opportunity to minister, share my testimony, share the word of God, share the gospel, something of that nature. As far as just being somewhere to be there, you won't catch me at an award show or something just to be there. Like I have to be actually doing something related to ministry. Uh, but I did happen to run into Lecrae. He was finishing up his interview as I was entering into mine. Um, so you just see us here kind of embracing each other, talking a little bit. But yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see this interview. Um, God definitely moved. The spirit was moving. God definitely gave me boldness to just, you know, speak the word. So can't wait for you guys to see it. But back to the video. But he gave me a good, man, you gave me a layup for like the faith too, bro. I appreciate that. It was a lot of good stuff I was able to share, bro. Yeah, he gave me some good layups. You been busy today? What's today? This is the, 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 the artist development, right? Because you're like, yo, I really been through some stuff and God got me out of that. Yeah. Y'all gonna get this work. That's what we're doing. That's the game plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want you guys to know this about me. I am kingdom over culture, ministry over industry. Though I do have opportunities to do certain platforms, my goal is never to get on there just to promote or be liked. It's always to share a message or to share my testimony or to share the gospel. So some of these platforms never may invite me back because I know I'm too preachy. I say it all the time. But as long as the word was shared. Y'all, so it is a new day. 
Today is the day I have my event. I have like two interviews in between, including this one to like three, but I'm finna do off the porch. And uh, I did jump off the porch, I jumped back on the porch. Lord, so we gonna talk about it here. Now fam, I ain't gonna lie. I used to watch this platform when I was in the world and I wanted to be on this platform for the wrong reasons. So to think now that God has just redeemed my heart, my intentions, my mind, my life, and now I'm on here testifying of his goodness and his faithfulness and his ability to save, deliver, set free. I'm all here praying all type of stuff. It's just nothing but God. So can't wait for y'all to see these interviews. But here, I'm just kind of explaining the reason I call myself childlike, Cece. Yeah, just stay here, I'm telling you. But um, it just comes from, I was reading uh, the scriptures, and uh, it's in Matthew 18. The disciples that asked Jesus, like, uh, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And he told them, like, children, like, childlike these. So it's more originating from humility, like things, childlike faith, childlike humility, always wanting to learn, just having, like, a childlike spirit. And also even, like, that dependency that a child would have on their father, like, God be my father, so it, it originates from that. Your grace sufficient, I ain't earn it. You just give it reminiscent when I went missing. You ain't diss me when I came back for forgiveness. I was tripping, but now I see you had a plan from the beginning. Now okay, fam, fair warning. In a few seconds, the screen is going to go to long form, but it's only going to be that way for like one minute, and then it's going to go back. But we're on our way to my listening party. It was my first time ever doing this. And I got to do it in Atlanta. Y'all came out and supported. It was so much fun. And I got to just kick it with everyone in an intimate setting. And I loved it. So. We just wrapped up my first ever event that was put together here in Atlanta. Kick back when they spin back, but you ain't sit back. You, you got me out. You got me out. Come on. Y'all, if I ever come to your state, you have to come out if I do this. I like it even better than doing like big shows because I really got a chance to meet everyone, talk to them individually, and just have that moment with y'all. So pull up. We'll turn up with the same folks bringing me down. When it all fell down, I looked around with no one around. But you just have to change the narrative. All these miracles still got me wondering how. So yeah, y'all, these are always gonna be limited capacity to ensure it has that intimate feel. But y'all are about to see some supporters who came like 30 minutes after the event was over. As I was walking out, they caught me. Thank God. Y'all, they drove three hours and the event's over and I feel really bad, y'all. Hey. It's okay. Let me see. Sir, I think you ain't kidding me. Yeah, she you love your you music. She your phone all the time. Ever you better come take a picture of me. So I thought Zyra was like being nervous or something, but she was really just trying to hide that she was crying. She was sad that the event, she missed the event, but I'm so glad I got to meet her. She was so sweet. Look at her, look at her. She was so sweet. Okay, fam, so this was actually the beginning of my trip. I just decided to put it at the end of this video. Y'all, I woke up so early to catch this flight to Atlanta. And as soon as I landed, I had to come straight to this artist development training. It was my first time doing anything like this. I was literally about to call them and say I'm not coming because I wanted to go to sleep. But the Holy Spirit encouraged me to go and also empowered me to stay by the time I got there. And it was definitely worth it. I got to do some vocal training to help to um, better my singing voice and some stage presence training to help to add some additional elements to my live shows so it was really good definitely worth it y'all but i pray you guys enjoyed this footage i pray it inspires you i pray it draws out creativity and i just pray god just uses it in some way to bless you um it definitely helps if y'all like comment subscribe y'all all of that 100 percent helps and text me that text number is really me. It's my only number. If anyone else leaving a number, it's not me. But text me. And y'all, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. This is only episode one, episode two coming. I love you. I love you. Pray for me as I pray for you. God bless. Peace.